business etiquette. There's a lot of different things that you have to know and how to treat people. And some of it's natural and some of it is learned. Here you see Lieutenant War from Star Trek. He looks fierce, except watch his etiquette. His little pinkies raised appropriately. He's following good business etiquette. Just because he looks like a fierce warrior, he's still following good manners. So when we talk about etiquette, we talk about professionalism, what exactly is it about? Civility, polish, etiquette, dining etiquette, and social intelligence as to how people will perceive you. And also this whole group called soft skills. Employers like the soft skills. It's a big deal. To some extent, it's even more important than the technical aspects of a job, making sure you can get along with people. If you can't get along with them, you may not be able to be a team player at all. Civility. Always go for the high road, treat people with dignity and respect. Business and dining, here is a caution that I can give you. Several years ago, Ford Motor Company was basically, they terminated an employee because he was an alcoholic and he turned around and won a case on workers comp and got his job back with back pay because part of his job was to entertain clients taking them out to dinner. And of course, his clients wanted to have some alcohol. So he says he became an alcoholic because Ford Motor Company wanted him to wine, literally, and dine clients. So, so that being said, be cautious on, on anything that can impair your judgment. You do not want to go out to dinner with the client, consume alcohol, and say something ridiculous. Make certain you are in full control of all your capacities and treat people well and make sure you have good dining etiquette if that's part of your overall agenda. Keep the soft skills, focus on them, get the polish that you, if you feel that you need it and make certain you're always aware of the perception of your clients, make certain you're aware of the team that you work with and the department and your boss that you're using some type of social intelligence and you're working to get along with people. Here's six dimensions of professional behavior. Appearance, appeal. You want to, you, you, you don't want to necessarily be sexually attractive, but you want to be an appealing person for people wanting to approach. If you always have this frown on your face, people may not want to come around you. They may be afraid of you. So always make certain that you have a pleasant demeanor. Make certain that you're dressed well appropriately at the same level of other people in the workplace, if not a notch higher. Tolerance, make certain you have tact, that you tolerate people. Sometimes they don't always behave appropriately, but that doesn't excuse you for not behaving appropriately. Making certain that you behave appropriately, that you're subtle, that you're not too harsh on people. Always also have honesty, have ethics, make certain that when you tell somebody you're gonna do something, that you do what you say you're gonna do. That's called honesty. Ethics is making certain that people don't question your motives in their process. Diligence, make certain that you are the one that people turn to when they think about the word reliability, that you're doing your diligence in your job, that you're thorough as you go through, that you're collegial, that you'll share other things to make sure people can be successful and that you are not a holdup for them getting their work done in the process as well. And above all, I mentioned it first thing, Always treat people with dignity and respect. It's always the best way of dealing with it. Manners, a good demeanor, they're among the top skills that employers seek in candidates. Project it in your job interview, project it throughout your job, and maintain that because you may go on to a different job someday and you want the current employer to make certain you're saying good things about you. So make sure you maintain the edge, use, uh, that edge, use polite words, always provide sincere appreciation and praise. Praise is actually very different from flattery. Flattery, you're complimenting something of somebody for something that they are not responsible for. When you praise somebody, you're complimenting for something that they are responsible for. For instance, nice outfit, you chose well. Okay? You look pretty with those brown eyes. They're two different things. You're not responsible for the color of your eyes. Okay? And also people can misinterpret that. You did a really good job at your report. I can't believe the solid work ethic that you did. Wow, that's really good. Your hair always comes out really nice. Okay, that's, that's like, um, seriously? Okay, so let's focus on praise. Give people praise and compliments for things that they are responsible for doing. 
respect a coworker space. One time I had this one guy, he was a friend of mine and he had no space issues. And so it's one of these things of, of one time I was at an event and they came closer to me and closer and I have a space issue. I prefer people about 18 inches away, like most Americans. So that's it, he got closer and closer and I'm backed up against the wall and I'm thinking, ah! And literally, and this is almost like a cartoon, he was four inches away or closer to my nose because it was a noisy area. I had to take a deep breath saying, okay, he has no space issues. He has no space issues. Some of us do. So always be cautious when you see terror in somebody's eyes like I had. Make sure you pay attention to that. Be selective in sharing personal information. Don't tell people too much. Don't, don't do too much information. Sometimes they don't want to hear it. And above all, this is one of those things. And sometimes it's a cultural thing. Don't put people down. If you're putting somebody down to the person you're talking to, that person is going to know that as soon as they turn their back, you'll be talking about them as well. Don't do it. That's inappropriate. And it really doesn't help you look any better. It actually makes you look really bad in the process. So gain the ed etiquette edge. Always, if somebody's rude, rise above their rudeness. Be considerate when you share space, equipment. Choose the high road in the conflict. And whenever you disagree, disagree agreeably in the process. So business etiquette, appearance. Tolerance, honesty, reliability, collegiality, and courtesy. And above all, make sure when you drink tea that you raise your little finger. Take care.